All right, so now for the canter set. So what, what the canter set is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give first a, a geometric construction of it. We start with the intervals uh, from 0 to 1. And then what we do is we remove, at each step, we remove the middle third of the interval or intervals that are remaining. Hmm. Okay. So we start with 0 to 1, and now we're left with 0 to 1 third, and then 2 thirds to 1. Does it this mean eventually you'll have no things left? Uh, I'm not sure. If you did this for infinitely many times. Well, we are going to do it for infinitely many times. Um, how much battery do we have left? Do we have enough battery for infinity? No? No. Oh, too bad. Hopefully battery technology will improve soon. So we keep removing the middle thirds, which I'll just do with the eraser. So what is this interval now? So it's um, one... 0 to 1, 9, and then 2 nines to 1 third. And how about this one? So it's, that's... 2 thirds to, um... 7, seven nines, nines, and then okay. 8 nines to 1. Well, the denominators look a lot like the base 3. Oh, yeah. They really do. Hmm. That's a good observation. So we keep doing this process. At every step, we just remove the middle third of every interval that's there. Okay. So, what do you think is going to happen here? Well, it looks like eventually we'll, we're going to be left with very few numbers. Okay. Possibly no numbers. Yeah. Well, but you you'll never you'll never end up removing a third. Oh. So, because <coughs> this middle it's. It's on the end, so it's never going to be part of the middle third. It's going to just be there. Ah, so one third sticks around. And then also the all, all the numbers on the end. It's all the numbers like... All of every the, end of every interval. Will stay. Okay, <laughs> so how many ends of every inter of There's the intervals do we have? Infinite. It'll be infinite if we do this infinitely many times. Yeah. So it's just like, that's saying both infinitely many numbers and no numbers are going to stay. Yeah, something like that. Um, so there's something interesting that happens when we look at this in base 3, which is why I had you start in base 3. Um, what happens is uh, you, you remove the numbers between 1 third and 2 thirds initially, and those are the numbers that start in base 3 with a 0 0.1. Yeah. Right. Uh, so initially then you only have numbers that start with 0, 0.0 and 0 0.2 after the first step. Now when you remove the middle third of these next intervals, you're removing all the numbers that start with 0 0.01 and 0 .0, uh, 0 0.21. Hmm. So you're, you're slowly removing all the numbers that have a 1 in them. That's right. So what you're left with at the end of this process is all the numbers in base 3 that only have zeros and 2s. Hmm. And how many of those numbers are there? Well, there's going to be infinitely many. Why? Well, you can you make can, infinitely many. Yeah, you can just make and a number. And there's infinitely many numbers in this. Because you can just have the option, you can do zero point, and then you have the option to do zero, two, or you can just end the number there. That's right. So we have uh, infinitely many numbers left. In fact, uncountably infinitely many numbers. Um, how do you know it's? Uh, how do I know quickly that it's uncountable? By the way. Well, that you just there's infinitely many ways to make numbers of this form, which right. is zeros and twos. But it might be countable, like the integers, or it might be uncountable, like the real numbers. Do you, you see any real quick hand waving way to sh show that it's uncountable? Well, I mean, you could say so that the numbers from zero to one, the sort of real numbers uh -huh. between real and base three numbers, that's also is that that's uncountably right. infinite. Yeah. I bet you're removing something countably infinite from that. Oh no you're it's not you're removing uncountably many because you're removing like entire intervals that have okay. uncountably many numbers. So maybe it's uncountable minus uncountable should still stay uncountable. Yeah. Right. 
it's tricky. So what we're left with is numbers that look like 0 0.2022220002. So just have zeros and twos. Mm -hmm. But I, in binary, I can represent all these numbers from 0 to 1 as in the same way with zeros and ones. And I get all the numbers. And there's a mapping, one to one mapping mm -hmm. between them. Cool. Right. Every one of these numbers corresponds to a number in binary. But does that mean there's more numbers between zero and one in this in base three than in binary? <laughs> That's a good question for another time. Good question, though. All right, let's go to the next part. Okay. okay.